Last night, I woke up and I saw the stars. So I started walking down this dirt road but didn't know for how far. And as I casually passed three goats trotting into the fields, I looked up and saw nothing but a tree. But see, this tree wasn't just some thing, and from the moment I glanced at it, I saw life, liberty, and prosperity. And as cheesy as it may seem, it was what I had seen. Buckets on their heads walking out into the distance, keeps going but doesn't know for how far. Gently comforts the precious baby on her back, radiating the emanating warmness from her heart. Creating the fires from the sticks and the branches that gently props out this worn out pot on a rock just so this bath can be hot. All for me. But when I think of me, I think of it as we, because we are the ones that are treated like the kings and queens compared to their society. My mom is son Quandwani, just sitting under this tree, just grasping every bit of knowledge he can receive. His brilliance affecting every person he meets, connecting every bit of information ever relayed and replayed past his brain, creating new and inventive ways to surpass my mental capability. Think of every hardship in the world and imagine what it'd be like to still be happy. Nothing filling but the soggy core, nothing quenching except this lingering spit. Nothing beating you down harder than the sunny sky without a place to rest. Money may be tight, you may not be able to see at night, you may never even get a chance to get away. But you still told me that I'm so happy that I could not change this life for any other way. You gave me meaning to be me and see what has been missing. Visualizing the difference between a human and a living being. Are your dreams bigger than your fears? Because if we're already here, let's start somewhere before we go nowhere. But sometimes when I have to stop and breathe, I can feel myself sinking underneath my mind into subliminal crime just below the bottom of satisfaction to your world's expectations, forcing myself into creating these false sensations of elation that keep me to say, Muli Buanji, what's good? How are you? Because I'll just be fake and tell you that I'm just great. But I go back and I look into these stars, these nyezis in the skylight and visualing that strife that was my life. Couldn't decide how I wanted to love and give back to this world, overwhelmed from every outsourced stimulus about to implode from people caring more about Vogue than a lonely child living on the road. Dissatisfactions to the global infraction set by the norm of society's blind minds and passions. There's no reason to be acting blind, so I'll close my eyes and see with my mind. I'll step back, keep going and growing because this life was meant to be worth living. So I'll live my life and stop being a prisoner that just stays sitting. I'll pray for rain but won't neglect to water my seeds. I'm chasing my dreams. So I'm gonna act like I don't see all the people saying slow your row and don't speed. I'm gonna act like I don't see all the people saying don't rock the boat. Please stop trying to dream the impossible. Dream stop trying to leap all the obstacles we put dead in your path. Don't laugh, don't lead, don't love, don't breathe, don't fight, don't think, don't ask questions, don't write and don't read. Life's about to take flight and it's time to board the plane. The world will change, people will change. When they realize who they are can never change. So be authentic and write the story you were meant to tell unless you care to have someone else control yourself. Living is led by giving. And as scary as it may seem, just follow your heart because I promise you. Even when I can't see it with my own eyes, I remember there are 10 trillion stars trying to glare at me. But only one is sparkling far away from these city lights reminding me, Zikomo Kwanbiri, thank you. I'm grateful that I had the chance to see.